One, two, three. Richard of Doomed Movie Thon, Cinema Somnambulist, and Hello, This is the Doom Show. Yeah, those are all my things. I am um, recording a vlog because I haven't recorded one in a long time, and hey, why not? Um, if you hear fans going in the background, it's because it's ridiculously hot right now, so I put on a, a different shirt. I'd sweat through the other one and I had salt and sugar and a parrot. Anyway, uh, today I want to talk about some of my favorite Giallo DVDs, some of my most prized possessions and DVDs in the Giallo genre. And uh, let's take a look at some of them now, please. Uh, first up is Plot of Fear. Uh, this is the um, Raro Video version before Raro Video started releasing stuff here in the States. Um, I picked it up, and it's region... Whoa, 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 whoa. Region something. <laughs> And it's uh, Italian with English subs. Great movie. Um, very low-key giallo, sleazy. Um, I think one really violent death in it. And um, I like it. No, two really violent deaths. I think someone sets a hooker on fire. And we all know that's not right. Do we? Anyway. Um, I guess this is worthless now. Thanks, Raro, for releasing your stuff to America. How am I supposed to feel now? <laughs> Grateful. Um, I have a couple of rare ones here, only because the company went out of business. I have The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, uh, with good old Edwidge Finesh, Edwidge Fennec, Edwiggy Finicky. And George Hilton. Uh, this is a fantastic giallo. Um, Ivan Razumov is in it. Love me some uh, Ivan Razumov. Uh, Alberto de Mendoza is in it, who I like. And the reason I remember him is because it says his name here on the back. Uh, unfortunately, no shame went out of business, and it's it's a real shame. Keeping with that theme is the dusty, very dusty. Not dusty because I don't watch it all the time. Uh, your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. Classic. Edwidge Finesh, Anita Strindberg, um, Luigi Pastili. Probably Luigi Pastili's finest performance in a giallo. Because he's really good in the iguana with the tongue of fire, but this one is my favorite of his. Because he's such a bastard. A mad J&B chugging bastard. Um, I don't know how much these are going for. I'm not going to sell them. All right. Uh, here is Puzzle. Puzzle is an exceptionally awesome... Oh my god, I forgot his name. Oh, here it is on the front. Uh, Luke Miranda. I really like Luke Miranda. He's pretty good. Um, this is sort of... Uh, Giallo influenced a little by Texas Chainsaw Massacre, if that makes any sense, because it has a chainsaw in it, um, but it's a movie where Luke Miranda loses his memory, and he's 
committed some crime or not, and it's really good. It's a really good movie. Um, this is the Swedish, I think, DVD, released by Another World Entertainment. Um, it says Anita Strindberg, second billing. I think Anita Strindberg is in less than 60 seconds of this movie. Um, I need to watch this again. I don't remember it very well. I remember um, someone throws uh, lit matches at Santa Burger. Which she does not like. She's not happy with that. Chicks. Uh, next, I have the. Oh my god. A German DVD of the Designated Victim. I really like the Designated Victim. It's uh, the Giallo version of Strangers on a Train. Um, Thomas Millian. And uh, <laughs> a very flamboyant. Um, flamboyant Pierre Clementi. He's got a whole um, Freddie Mercury vibe going on in this movie. It's very gay. Very very awesome movie. <laughs> it, he is so over the top. You'll love it. Thomas Millian is really good. Uh, Thomas Millian you know, takes himself seriously. I like the uh, packaging. It's like a cardboard. Like a shiny cardboard with the plastic holder glued inside. Which probably isn't the best for storage, but I think it's holding up pretty well even in this lovely Florida weather. Um, we have climate control. Okay. Uh, next up is Amok. And uh, Amok is awesome. Amok is for fans of Sleazy Gialli. Uh, this is for you. Um, Barbara Boucher, Rosalba Neri, mm -hmm. Farley Granger, who I love Farley Granger's in this. Um, he, Farley Granger plays this really terrible writer, uh, this really terrible son of a bitch, and uh, his secretary disappears, and her sister, played by Barbara Boucher, shows up to investigate. Or no, was there a sister? Maybe it was her friend. There's some lesbian stuff in this because it's Italian. Uh, great movie. Uh, Euro Vista. I, they put out... They, I don't even know if they're still around. They used to put out a few things once in a while. They might have put out some Lindsay crime films. Um, this is Pan and Scan. And I've never found a better copy. If, I, if you ever hear about a muck being widescreen please let me know I would love to see it in widescreen uh, great movie can't recommend that one enough um, I've got my some shameless DVDs here from no shame to shameless um, Le Orme, also known as Footprints Footprints on the Moon excellent movie with Klaus Kinski in a small cameo that doesn't make any sense. In fact, his cameo takes the movie, all, it jumps the shark craziness, but um, it's, a, it's a really good film. Um, Florinda Balkan um, has an unattractive wig in the movie. It makes her look horrible, but later she takes the wig off. You can breathe a sign of relief that she took it off. Um, excellent movie. One of those psycho, what the hell's going on type of flicks. You have no idea what's going on. Even if you think you do, you don't. Good movie. And Watch Me When I Kill. Um, I had to have the shameless of this because the VCI version sucks. The VCI version is pan and scan and too dark. Um, and this is a fairly stylish movie from uh, Antonio Beto. I think that this film really deserves to be seen on this DVD if you can find it. Um, just Amazon UK should still have some of these. Um, it's an Argento ripoff, but it's a pretty satisfying Argento ripoff. I think you should check it out. 
uh, don't even bother with a VCI disc. I mean, even if someone gives it to you for free, just throw it out. It's garbage. Uh, oh, Phantom of Death, another Shameless. Um, who would have thought that uh, Michael York would show up in a Giallo? Um, this is just a fun, weird, and very gory film. Very bloody. Um, do 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 do. Uh, another Edwidge Finesh, and uh, it's she looks really good for. I think it's uh, 88, it says on the DVD here. Um, Donald Pleasance is trying to catch Michael York. He has a he has a disease that makes him uh, age too fast, so he's bitter, so he's killing people. Um, next up, what have they done to your daughters? Massimo Dallamano. He did, um, what have you done to Solange? And he did a couple other movies the theme of, you know, teenage prostitution ring. Awesome. Someone killing to protect the secrets of said prostitution ring. Um, I like it. It's not one I'll return to a lot. Um, <sighs> yeah. You know, I need to rewatch this. I don't remember shit about it. See what happens when you have a lot of DVDs. You don't watch them all, all the time. More No Shame. I forgot that this was No Shame. Um, I have the Luciano Ercoli death box set just two DVDs oh uh, two DVDs and a CD the the third disc is a CD of um, oh Stelvio, Stelvio Cipriani soundtracks from Giallo's and crime films very nice um, this has both death walks at midnight and death walks on high heels both are awesome fun movies um, Death Walks at Midnight I like better than Death Walks on High Heels. Both star uh, Susan Scott, a.k.a. Nieves Navarro. And um, it's just good stuff. Um, both are really sleazy. Uh, I think uh, both are pretty bloody, if I recall correctly. Um, and both have Luciano Rossi, who is awesome. Uh, Luciano Rossi plays a hitman in Death Walks at Midnight. He's amazing. Amazing in this movie. Steals the movie. Got Eyes of Crystal. Eyes of Crystal is a newer uh, Giallo. It's kind of like Giallo inspired by Seven. Uh, but it's quite an awesome movie. I really enjoyed it. It has some actually really unsettling and scary shit in it. It's really good. Um... I'm hoping that Eros uh, Puglielli, I know I'm mispronouncing that, but not on purpose. It's just my way. Um, I hope he directs more movies because this is this is a good sign of things to come. Um, definitely check this one out. Uh, this is the Revolver Entertainment. Uh, I think it's a UK company. Yeah, it's a UK company. Um, I don't know what else is on their label. I never thought to look. Uh, but it's this is a good one. Check this one out if you can find it. Uh, and last, I'm actually going to stop talking. I actually just chose a finite number of things to talk about. Instead of an infinite, or an unfinite, or a disfinite. Um, suspected death of a minor. Uh, this was put out by uh, Suzuma. <laughs> Woo. maybe a German company has some German on there uh, this is a very weird film uh, Sergio Martino always good he did a little giallo slash uh, crime film action and I think it came out really good it's a fun movie to watch um, it's got that dude in it who is that dude? Oh yeah, Claudio Casanelli. Claudio Casanelli. He was also in What Have They Done to Your Daughters? But uh, he's really good. Um, he makes a good action hero in the movie, so that was good. Um, but much like What Have They Done to Your Daughters, I've only watched it once, so I need to kind of revisit some of these. But when am I going to find the time? Anyway, 
that's it for my uh, Giallo DVD show off time thank you uh, this was just for insurance purposes want to see Crisco here he is oh 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 here he is